In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, as the senior class of 2023 gathers for the final time, give them, we pray, firm faith, unwavering hope, and perfect charity. 
Pour into their hearts the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of strength and right counsel, the spirit of knowledge and true godliness and the true spirit of the brotherhood. Light eternal shine in their hearts. Power eternal, deliver them from evil. And wisdom eternal, scatter the darkness of their ignorance. Grant that they may always seek your face with all their heart, with all their soul, and with all their strength. In your infinite mercy, bring them at last to your holy presence, where they shall behold your glory and possess your promised joy. And may the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be glorified in all places through the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Everyone, you all can sit down. Good evening. I'd like to take this moment to ask you all, especially my brothers here in front of me, to reflect on the time that's passed us at Central Catholic. I'm going to start by thanking those that deserve every bit of praise we can give them, our families. From every sweaty jersey you wash, every tailgate you helped decorate, every time you drove through the gate on Camden, every item you dropped off at Nisosa, and every single hour you all spend to be able to send us essential. Nothing we enjoy would be possible without your support. To our teachers, administrators, coaches, and custodians that supported us as well, we as a class, thank you. To my family, and especially my grandparents here, and my grandpa G fighting cancer in Austin, I know you're watching on your TV. To my own parents, and my brother Isaiah, I love you all with all my heart, and owe every success of mine to you. Thank you to my 22 brothers that came with me from Little St. Anthony's, and the 136 new brothers that have made this an amazing four years of high school. To the class of 2023, carry these memories and friendships formed over these past four years with you for the rest of your lives. Hold on to the memory of our middle schools dropping us off on the front steps of the school, greeted by a line of roaring drums. Hold on to the words of the Estovir and the pages of it you may or may not have left. Hold on to Friday nights and section R that you spent with your brothers, Sweet Carolines, Alma Maters, Brigade Reviews, Central Madness, Teca Boca Nights, Fuentes Cookies, the classes that came before us, and the underclassmen that I hope are here tonight. We truly never will be those kids we were again. The SOA Basketball League is ready to kick us to the curb. The Whataburgers are tired of the table tents we've taken. Taps is sick of us taking all their medals. And Coach Ibarra is certainly tired of our honking on the way out of the senior lot. So remember the words he drilled into our minds all those years ago. There is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. It was an honor serving you as y'all's president for these four years, and I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Take these memories with you and let it remind you of the family that we are a part of, the brotherhood that spans this globe. Let those interlocking seas remind you of the brotherhood that is behind you. And forever and always, God bless our Central High. Good evening, class of 2023, family and friends. Welcome. My name is Jason Longoria. I'm the president of Central Catholic High School and I am a proud graduate of 1996. I'd like to welcome each of you on behalf of the Marianists, board members, administration, faculty, and staff of Central Catholic High School to this 2023 commencement ceremony. 
In 1852, the Marianist brothers began their journey that led us to this moment today. I would like to take a moment to thank and recognize all of the brothers and the professed who have professed their lives to the Marianists and those who have served at Central Catholic. Any Marianists that are here with us today, please stand and be recognized. These two Marianists and those that are watching, they continually pray and support our students and our institution. I'd like to thank our board chair, Ms. Priscilla Gonzaga, and all the members of the board who are with us here tonight for their governance and leadership of Central Catholic High School. Thank you. Central Catholic High School has been an integral part for over 165 years in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. We are grateful to continue this partnership and we recognize Ms. Amy Hudson, the Associate Superintendent of Academics for the Department of Catholic Schools for the Archdiocese of San Antonio. Thank you, Ms. Hudson, for being here tonight. <laughs> Former Catholic school teacher at Holy Spirit High School, by the way, or Holy Spirit Catholic School. The day-to-day -day operation of Central Catholic would not be possible without the leadership and guidance of our administration. As I introduce each administrator, please join me in thanking them for their time and talents in serving our Central Catholic High School and your students. Principal, Dr. Lee Hernandez. <laughs> Director of Advancement, Elisa Vitagliano. Executive Athletic Director, Edward C. Eddie Ibarra, Class of 1983. <laughs> Director of Finance, Michael Gaffney. <laughs> Director of Facilities, Paul Combest. <laughs> Our school chaplain, Father Pat McDay. <laughs> Dean of Academics, Beatriz Mora. And your Dean of Students and newly minted doctor, Dr. Dan McCarthy. <laughs> Gentlemen, I need your help here. With the faculty and staff of Central Catholic, please stand and be recognized. Faculty and staff, thank you. Thank you for your perseverance, your dedication, and your enduring love for this graduating class. They are lovable, but they can make it hard sometimes. At this time, we also want to acknowledge all the alumni in, in, in attendance tonight. The Central Catholic legacy can sometimes go back generations. We count over 9,000 living alumni worldwide amongst our ranks. If you're an alumnus of Central Catholic High School, please stand to be recognized. There's a group of guys over here, some of them could stand and not, but I'm gonna call out these gentlemen over here. I'd like to point out these members of the class of 1973. They're celebrating their golden anniversary, 50 years, and they're welcoming you amongst their ranks. In a gesture that is probably the first of its kind, the class of 1973 is going to make a very special gift to you, the class of 2023. Their ask for you is very simple. Stay connected. Stay close and stay in touch with each other and with our Central High. In exchange for that, they are gonna make a gift to you of $1,000 for your first class reunion in 2028. Thank you, class of 1973. <laughs> Hopefully this is the first of many reunions, but the thought is, is as five years out, you're just trying to get yourself in the workforce and establish yourself 
and they don't want you to have to worry about that. They got you, and yes, you will be of age by then. <laughs> so don't let cash stop you from coming together. So thank you, class of 1973, and all of your other brothers who are joining you and watching online today. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge any of the U.S. military veterans in the audience tonight. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your service to our country and for all of our freedoms that we cherish so proudly and dearly today. Gentlemen of the class of 2023, don't forget your faith. Your faith is your North Star that will keep you on the right path for life. Your faith has been augmented by the past years you spent here at Central Catholic and the Marianist Catholic values that we have been providing you as teachers, coaches, administrators, alumni, and friends. Today, as you step onto the threshold of the next phase of your story, remember the challenges you faced and overcame during your time here. As you embark on this new chapter, remember the importance of perseverance, resilience, compassion. The world is changing every single day, even as we know it right now, but never shy away from innovation. Be bold in all of your pursuits. Be mindful of the impact your actions have on each other's and on this planet. Create the positive change that you wish to see in the world. And remember that success is not measured by the material accomplishments and how much money you make. It's about the lives that you all impact. Cherish all of those memories. Congratulations once again. And may your journey be filled with purpose, fulfillment, and endless possibilities. Be kind, be just, and be a brother to all of those that you encounter. At this time, I'm going to turn the program back over to Dr. Hernandez. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the graduates of the class of 2023, and God bless our Central High. faculty and board of directors continue to work together to challenge our school to provide educational excellence in the classroom. Tonight, two students represent the end result of this challenge. To honor the Central Catholic High School valedictorian and salutatorian, board chair Ms. Priscilla Gonzaga would, would like to present each of them with a special medallion. I present to you the 2023 Salutatorian of Central Catholic High School, Mr. Joseph Muller. <laughs> Joseph decided to enroll as a freshman at Central Catholic High School because of its, its strong Catholic foundation, distinguished academic standing, and all-embracing community of educators and students. Shortly after attending, he met his future friends, classmates, and teachers in the tight-knit community of the Brotherhood. Joseph actively participated in the JRTC program, which instilled in him the vital skills of discipline, leadership, and self-assurance. As a freshman, Joseph joined the Chaminade Guard drill team. He learned the value of dedication through, through his involvement, which stayed with him through, throughout high school. During his junior and senior years, Joseph held the positions of executive officer and battalion commander, respectively. Under his leadership, the team won the first place overall Arm Drill Team Award two years in a row. <laughs> Joseph joined the Mighty Button Band during his senior year. This experience allowed him to cultivate problem-solving skills and confront novel challenges while engaging a different form of learning and teamwork. The discipline of music provided Joseph with a distinctive outlook and pers on personal growth and collaboration. During his time at Central Catholic, Joseph has received numerous accolades, including three Duxesto Awards, the Summa Cum Laude Award, Honor Roll Award every semester, and the AP Scholar Award. 
In JROTC, he received two Cadet of the Quarter Awards, the Academic Excellence Award, the National Physical Fitness Award, the Sergeant Major Johnny Salazar Award, and the American Legion JROTC Award. In his junior year of high school, Joseph was in inducted into the National Honor Society and generously gave back to his community by tutoring his peers. Joseph will attend St. Mary's University in the fall to major in accounting and earn a bachelor's degree in business administration with, with a further plan of becoming a certified public accountant. Would Joseph's parents please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, Joseph. Thank you for all of your hard work. And now I present to you the 2023 valedictorian of Central Catholic High School, Mr. Luke Hospenthal. Luke chose to attend Central Catholic due to the school's excellent academic reputation, numerous extracurricular opportunities, strong community presence, and welcoming culture. He ultimately chose to come to Central to continue his journey in the Catholic faith. Luke has been actively involved in the JROTC program since his freshman year. He has worked hard and dedicated himself to attain the position of 1st Battalion Commander. Over the past two years, Luke has served as the Chaminade Color Guard Commander and has led the team to win back-to-back -back national championships. He has also played a significant role in planning events such as the skills meet and participating in other teams like Chaminade Guard, Bordelon Rifles, and JLab. During his time at Central, Luke was involved in multiple extracurricular activities. He also co-founded the Latin and Physics Club, Served, as the student, served in the student council, and tutored his peers through the National Honor Society. Additionally, he completed over 600 service hours with the Guardian Angels. Luke also played on the varsity lacrosse team and was voted prom prince at this senior prom. Luke's academic record is outstanding with 12 AP dual credit classes, an AP scholar award, and a consistent 99th percentile score on all his SAT, PSAT tests at Central Catholic. Additionally, he received multiple Dux Esto awards and consistently earned the summa cum laude award distinction every semester. Luke's efforts have earned him numerous awards, including the Harvard Book Prize, JROTC Superior Cadet Award, Eagle Scout with Gold, Silver, and Bronze Palms, National Physical Fitness Award, American Legion Military Excellence Award. Luke will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, in the fall to pursue a degree in mechanical or aerospace engineering and hopes to continue his education to fulfill his long-term goals. Would Luke's parents please stand and be recognized? And one more round of applause for your valedictorian, Mr. Luke Hospital. Faculty, classmates, and all those present who have supported us through this incredible journey. My name is Luke Hosmanthal, and I am both honored and humbled to stand before you tonight as the voice of our graduating class. On behalf of the seniors, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the wonderful people that got us here. To our teachers, staff, and administrators, through your passion and patience, you have shaped our time at Central and guided us to this moment. Thank you for challenging our minds and helping us thrive. To our parents and guardians, without your sacrifice and unwavering faith, we could not have come to this school, much less graduate from it. Thank you for being our biggest cheerleaders, our advocates, and our rocks. To our friends, facing the ups and downs of high school with you has left us with long-lasting memories. Thank you for remaining by our side. The class of 2023 would not be here without all of you, so from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. Now, who is the class of 2023? How will we be remembered? What impact have we made on this school and in our communities? And what will our story say? In 1875, 23 years after Central was founded, 
a man by the name of William Ernest Henley wrote a poem called Invictus, which in Latin means unconquered. While it was written nearly 150 years before our graduation, the final stanza of Invictus perfectly characterizes our class. It reads, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. As freshmen, COVID took away our chances at a typical high school experience, and yet we stand here today. With the pandemic, we were forced to face the challenges of online learning, emotional detachment, and the mental health issues that came with being in quarantine. Then, as upperclassmen these last two years, we have led the post-pandemic charge toward normalcy. We have set the example for our peers by continuing to come to school, even as threats of gun violence loomed over us. And through all of our trials, we have always written our own destiny, refusing to let it be done for us. The week before our first day of school, many of us attended a freshman rite of passage weekend. During this orientation, Mystery Bar gave us all a little white book titled Estovir. Uh, so Javi mentioned it before, I still have mine. Uh, I might have not kept it in the back pocket like Mr. Barr had us all do for the first year, but still. So as I'm sure many of you remember, Estovir means to be a man, and the purpose of this book was to teach us Central's culture and modern day chivalry. On the first page, I'm going to read it again because Javi did it, but let's do it again. Uh, there is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. So since our freshman year, we have been in this together, as brothers bound by a destiny. But in today's world, the second line is not always true. There are people who face their battles alone, people who don't have the support we do, or the opportunities and blessings that we have. Now, I do not know how many of you might have noticed it, but on the first floor, right above the entrance to the historic gym, there's a plaque. On this plaque, under Central Catholic, it says, giving young men the advantage. That is exactly what Central does. That is why we were sent here. We worked hard and our parents sacrificed a lot for this advantage, so it would be a shame to let it go to waste. As Catholics, we are called to help our neighbors, and as people that have resources, we are called to help those who do not. Gentlemen, this world is not perfect. Problems of poverty, violence, hunger, and inequality plague even our own San Antonio, while war and disease continue to haunt the world. Now while I know things will never be ideal, we can still make a difference. In just a few short minutes, we will all receive our diplomas and be done with high school. We will be forced out of this bubble that we've lived in and into the real world, but I know that we are ready. Yesterday, at our senior luncheon, we were told an all too familiar story of a central alumnus living his life not just as a business owner in San Antonio, but as what he described as a pillar in his community. A pillar is not someone who is only concerned with their own well-being, but that of their family, of their neighbors, and of their community. As each one of us walks the stage tonight, we will receive our alumni pins, and in doing so, we join our brothers as pillars in our communities and as members of the so-called CC Mafia. As the future leaders of our world, my challenge to the class of 2023 is to ensure that when it's our turn to be in these stands, our kids will have had a better, safer time in high school than we did. While we cannot prevent another pandemic, we can work toward a world where every member of our nation's youth has an equal opportunity to education. A world where mental health is just as important as physical, and a world where tragedies like the shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, which happened one year ago this week, do not dominate the news. Gentlemen, we can make a difference. We can take the advantage given to us by Central and go out into our communities as pillars working towards a better, safer, and brighter future. We are the unconquered class of 2023, victors over COVID, brothers bound by destiny, and we are ready to leave our Central High as leaders. In line with our faith, I would like to end with a prayer. The word valedictorian comes from the Latin phrase valedicere, which means to say farewell. So seniors, if you could please bow your head for a short prayer on goodbyes. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Gracious Lord, thank you for giving us our time at Central Catholic. Please continue to guide us as we do your will and work to make the world a better place. Give us the strength to say goodbye. Amen. Thank you, for, thank you all for your time, and may your hats fly as high as your dreams. Farewell, class of 2023. Hook up.
time, we would like to recognize those students who have earned a Marianist Honors Medallion. This medallion is the greatest recognition we can bestow upon a student. The mission of our school describes our work as educating young men from diverse backgrounds in the Marianist tradition for success through the development of scholarship, leadership, and moral character. A student who receives this recognition has participated in a rigorous academic program and a variety of activities to become the young man that Blessed Chaminade envisioned as the foundation of the society. The brothers have been cultivating this foundation since their arrival in San Antonio in 1852. At this time, we would like to recognize our Marianist Honors Medallion graduates. Gentlemen, please stand if you have earned Marianist Honors Medallion. It is without question that the spirit and energy of the class of 2023 has been evident throughout their four years here at Central Catholic High School. Their leadership, academic performance, and contributions to our community have been outstanding. To the parents of our graduates, I sincerely hope that we have cared for your son in a personal and professional manner as if he was our own. It has been a true blessing and an honor to be part of their journey. We will miss them. We wish them the best in their future, and we can't wait for them to return as alumni to share their stories and the gifts that have been bestowed upon them. We're going to miss you guys. Love you. <laughs> Mrs. Gonzalo, would you please join me at the podium? Here we go, guys. Will the seniors please rise? Mrs. Gonzaga, as principal of Central Catholic High School, I certify that the seniors standing before us have met the standards as set forth by the Texas Catholic Conference Education Department, recognized by the Texas Education Agency, and approved by the Texas Catholic Conference Accreditation Commission and the Society of Mary. Will you please accept the class of 2023 from Central Catholic High School? 
Thank you, Dr. Hernandez. As Chairwoman of the Board of Directors, it is my honor and privilege to accept the 2023 Central Catholic graduating class on behalf of the Central Catholic High School Board of Directors. Graduates, know that we are proud of you and we thank you and your parents for choosing Central Catholic High School. Always remember that Central Catholic is home and we are your family. We invite you to come back and share your accomplishments with us so we can acknowledge them and celebrate with you. Congratulations, class of 2023. Remaining graduates may be seated until your row is called. As a reminder, we ask that you please refrain from extended applause and cheering when your student's name is read so that all families can hear all names called. It is now time for the presentation of diplomas. Diego Gael Alonso, University of Texas at San Antonio. Aaron Alexander Alvarado, University of Incarnate Word. Rolando R. Arsate III, St. Mary's University. Mateo Alejandro Paños, University of Texas at San Antonio. Rodrigo Jose Colocho Barajona, Texas A&M University College Station. Jason Matthew Benavides, Texas Tech University. St. Mary's University. <laughs> Pedro Enrique Cárdenas, St. Mary's University. <laughs> Matthew Alexander Diaz Carrillo, University of Texas, San Antonio. Christian Castillo, our Lady of the Lake University. <laughs> Felix Castillo, University of Texas at Austin. <laughs> Connor Castro, St. Mary's University. Nathaniel C. Cazuela, University of Texas at San Antonio. Matthew Herbert Clack, University of North Texas. Derek Anthony Clark, Texas A&M University College Jose G. Colleen, University of Texas at San Antonio. Lucas Gabriel Corrales, University of Texas at San Antonio. William Stewart Crone, United States Merchant Marine Academy. Santiago Cuella, Penn State University. Joshua Rene Devorah, University of Texas at San Antonio.
Matthew Franco Dolodina, University of Texas at San Antonio. Kyan A. Dolsky, University of Texas at Austin. Diego Adan Dominguez, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Aiden J. Duron, Northwest Vista College. Michael Thomas Easterday, University of Texas at San Antonio. Stephen Jack Anthony Edwards II, Delaware Valley University. Caden Meno Esquivel, University of Dallas. Jose Angel Farias V, San Antonio College. Zachary Fabian, Southwestern University. Matthew David Fernandez, Texas Tech University. Alejandro Rene Flores, University of Texas at San Antonio. Braden Flowers, Southern Methodist University. David P. Foley, University of Texas at San Antonio. Emiliano Elias Franco, University of Texas at Arlington. Luke Funk, Texas State University. James Christian Fur, University of Texas at San Antonio. Alejandro Nathaniel Galvan Macias, University of Texas at Austin. Anthony Jose Gomez, Texas A&M University College Station. Alec J. Garcia, North Carolina State University. Andres Antonio Garcia, University of Texas at San Antonio. Judas Anthony Garcia, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Texas A&M University College Station. Jesus Garcia the Fourth, University of Texas at San Antonio. Benjamin Palomero Garza, University of Texas at San Antonio. David Alexander Garza, St. Vincent College, Detroit, Pennsylvania. Emery Martin Garza, St. Mary's University. Nicholas Alexander Garza, University of Texas at San Antonio. Tomas Caudelio Garza, Texas State University. Nicholas Roland Gayatin, 
Texas A&M University College Station. Jaden Gonzalez, Texas A&M University College Station. Ricardo Javier Gonzalez, Texas A&M University College Station. Pablo Javier Chapa Gonzalez, University of Texas at Austin. Aiden Gerard Gutierrez, University of Texas at San Antonio. Gabriel Gutierrez, St. Mary's University. James I. Halpin, University of Texas at Arkansas. <laughs> Caleb John Harrison, Tarleton State University. <laughs> Christian Gabriel Hernandez, University of Texas at Austin. Daniel Adrian Hernandez, University of Texas at San Antonio. Ismael Jaques Hernandez, University of Texas at San Antonio. Adrian Joseph Herrera, University of the Incarnate Word. James Alexander Hodge, Texas Tech University. Luke T. Hospenthal, University of Texas at Austin. David Matthew Humphreys, Texas Tech University. Nathan Guardiola Jones, Ottawa University. Christian Aiden Trevino Knight, University of Texas at San Antonio. Quinton Ambrose Lashbrook, Texas A&M University College Station. Alexander Robert Liss, University of Texas at Austin. Andrew Gabriel Liss, University of Texas at San Antonio. Jeremy Winthrop Hardgrove Libby, University of Minnesota. Antonio Lopez Jr., University of Texas at San Antonio. Roman Lucas Lozano, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Abraham H. Luna III, Texas State University. Dominic Z. Martinez, Ottawa University. Isaias Eliu Martinez, University of Texas at San Antonio. Ethan Angelo Mata, Texas Tech University. Michael Kent Mayhew, Princeton University. Gerardo Mejia II, University of Houston. Carlos 
Anthony Mendez, University of the Ocarno Bird. Jackson Reynaldo Mercado, University of Texas at San Antonio. Javier Montes, St. Mary's University. George Nathan Montoya, University of Texas at San Antonio. William Alec Moore, Lynn College. Nathan John Morales, Texas State University. Thomas Elliot Moreno, University of Texas at San Antonio. Joseph Christopher Muller, St. Mary's University. Robert E. Neaves II, Texas A&M University College Station. <laughs> Hector Nerio IV, University of Texas at San Antonio. <laughs> Jose Juan Arturo Ortega, University of Texas at San Antonio, Cat Austin. Sergio P. Postos, St. Edwards University. <laughs> Maddox Castañares Ovalles, University of Texas in San Antonio. <laughs> Elijah Joseph Pequeño, St. Mary's University. Philip Tristan Pettis, Northwest Eastern College. <laughs> Ryan Michael Pettis, St. Edwards University. <laughs> Nicolas A. Pettis, University of North Texas. <laughs> Cole Alexander Peterson. University of Texas in San Antonio. <laughs> Joseph Mario Piro III, St. Mary's University. <laughs> Louis Thomas Poe, St. Mary's University. <laughs> Joseph Conrad Colonas, Texas A&M University, College Station. Diego Abraham Posadas, University of Texas in San Antonio. Isaí Nicolás Presas, United States Air Force Academy. Emiliano Cuneda, St. Mary's University.
Ricardo Rios Jr., St. Mary's University. James Eric Robokowski, Texas A&M University, College Station. Gavin Matthew Rocha, Texas Tech University. Christian Robert Rodriguez, Texas State University. Diego Antonio Rodriguez, Texas Christian University. Jackson Daniel Rodriguez, Texas State University. Joel A. Rodriguez, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Matthew Lopez Rodriguez, University of Texas at San Antonio. Sonam D. Rossiker, Chaminade University of Honolulu. Nathan Sadler, St. Mary's University. Vincent Salazar, San Antonio Community College. Leonardo Salazar Garcia, University of Texas at San Antonio. Alfred Sebastian Sanchez, Southern Methodist University. Christian Jonah Sanchez, Texas Christian University. Zane Alexander Sita, University of Texas at Austin. Stephen Eric Lim Sotelo, Baylor University. Devin Noe Caramantes, Northwest Eastern College. Gregorio Tomás Treviño, University of Texas at Austin. Andrés Cristian Triana, Texas A&M University of Texas. Andrés Carol Yulik, St. Mary's University. David Gregory Vallejo Jr., St. Mary's University. Eugenio David Villa Gomez, Texas Tech University. Devin M. Villanueva, University of Texas at San Villarreal, Baylor University. Evan Xavier Villarreal, St. Mary's University. John Frank Vina, University of Texas. Christian Carson Womack, Texas A&M University, Galveston. Christopher Derek Ward, University of Texas at San Antonio. Kyle Michael Wilson, University of Incarnate Word. Jordan 
Tyler Winfrey, Texas Tech University. Jake M. Wolf, Texas Tech University. Isaac Michael Serducci, University of Texas in San Antonio. Let's give it up one more time for that class of 2023. Uh, please forgive the, the short delay. Our gentlemen are getting their diplomas, getting a picture, and getting their alumni pins. It's going to take just a quick second.
Class of 2023, as a symbol of graduation, I invite you to please stand and join me in moving your tassel from right to left. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving and gracious God, you have been with us always through our struggles and our successes. We thank you for all of our brothers in the class of 2023 and for the bonds and the memories that we have formed during these past four years. We thank you for the opportunities, gifts, talents, and blessings which you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for our parents who have sacrificed so much to bring us to the great school that is Central Catholic and who have always been there to inspire the very best from us. We thank you, Lord, for all of the teachers who have imparted their knowledge and experiences unto us, and all the faculty and staff who have enabled us to thrive while at Central. As we venture forward into this new part of our journey, we ask that you help us to remain faithful to the friends that we have made, to our parents, to our teachers and counselors, and most of all, to you, O Lord. Grant us the fortitude of mind, body, and spirit that we will need as we strive forward into our next adventure. Enable us the wisdom to discern your will for us and to utilize the gifts and talents you have given to us to become servant leaders and a beacon of your love to all whom we encounter. We ask Mary, our mother, to watch over and intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. May the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be glorified in all places through the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Amen. As the newest alumni of Central Catholic, join me in our alma mater. With loyal hearts will exemplify our alma mater, Central High. For her will fight right to the end, her honor will do.
This broadcast of the Catholic High School Graduations was presented by Catholic Schools in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. Brought to you in part by Our Lady of the Lake University, St. Mary's University, and University of the Incarnate Word. find in Catholic schools what you won't find anywhere else. It's a very diverse group of students. We have uh, students that are on different parts of the spectrum with regards to academics, with regards to financial resources, and so we're blessed with the opportunity to work, kind of work with everyone. Witness the difference.